When I was at Dollar Tree, I came across this really cute little glass container that I thought it would be a perfect little treat container for moose. So of course I had to make a label in my Cricut. I'm gonna show you how easy it was. So I went into the images and I found a dog bone that I thought was cute and I sized it to the size that I wanted that I knew would fit on the outside of my jar. Next I went in, found a text that I liked and I typed out the word moose. Then I put the words on top of my dog bone and sized the words the way I thought they looked good. Then I went in and I selected everything. To make it so it's a cutout, you're gonna go down to the action and you're going to select slice. From there you can take the font off and you can see that it's now sliced out and your letters are taken out. I'm going to delete the text that I have and from there I'm only going to cut out the bone with the cut out little mousse. So I'm not going to use a mat and I'm going to use a permanent black vinyl to cut this out on my joy. Next, I'm gonna weed out any excess, and then I'm gonna use some transfer tape to put it on the jar. So the lid of my jar definitely needed a little jazzing up, so I'm gonna use some black and white twine that I think I used from a project from Christmas. And I'm just gonna start on the back, adding in some hot glue at the base of my lid, and then I'm gonna wrap it around. Every time it goes to the back, I'm gonna add in some additional hot glue until I get to the top and I'll hot glue it in place. I'll cut off any excess. And then from there, all I did was add in some of Moose's favorite treats and you can see he loved it. I don't know if any of you guys have girls, but my girls love Barbies. They have a lot of Barbies and we have them all over our house. The last time I was at Ikea, I found these large bins and I said, you know what? I think I'm gonna get this and just throw a bunch of Barbies in there because we have so many Barbies. So to make it more fun for my girls, I wanted to add a label to the front. I'm gonna use some of Cricut's adhesive paper to cut out the word Barbies. So I went in and I just kind of looked for a fun font that would go good with Barbies. I sized it to the size I wanted for my container, then I cut it out. And then I just pulled off the different letters like a sticker and added them to my container. So I knew my girls were gonna be dragging this container around, so I went in and added a layer of Mod Podge just to make sure it's really secure. So we have a mask bin station that is set up in our laundry room and it has some labels on it right now but I wanted to dress them up just a little bit. So I grabbed some round labels that I had in my stash that I picked up at Dollar Tree and I also went into my Cricut Joy and I used a fun font and a white permanent vinyl and I created three new labels that said clean, dirty, and sanitize. After I weeded out these labels, I used some transfer tape to put them onto the black labels. Next, I took off the old labels from my Dollar Tree baskets and added on these new labels. Now, when I did this, they were a little too long, so I had to cut a little bit underneath, but you really couldn't tell, and I think it makes it look more put together in the end. This organization works really well for my family. When my kids come in, they know to throw their mask there. They know where to go and find a clean mask, so I love this.
Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.